Hi, it's Ryan from Nights Around a Table, and this is The Voyages of Marco Polo, a game I know almost nothing about, and it's based on a person I know almost nothing about. I know Marco Polo was uh, an explorer in the swimming pool? I don't know. That's the extent. That's the extent. I know there was a Netflix series that wasn't very good. What I do know, though, is that this game involves rolling dice, so good, it's like a dice worker placement game, and one of my favorite games of all time, Alien Frontiers, is also a dice worker placement game. So that was exciting, and that turned me on. The other thing I know about this is that there are different characters that you can play in the game, and you know, the game has its rules, and when you play these different characters, they all have sort of rule-breaking uh, special abilities, and I love that idea. That reminds me of another game I own, called Cosmic Encounter, which you may have heard of, and it's the same idea in that game. The game's got, you know, it's, it's rules, and then it's got, it's just this like, rule-breaking characters that throw the whole thing into chaos, and that's super fun. Um, the one thing that these games have going for them is that they're in space, and space is totally awesome. Marco Polo? I don't know how awesome that guy is. Um, but, you know, let's open the box and, and see if we catch any awesomeness out of there. Okay, we've got my knife. Here we go. Whoa. Oh, doing a bad job so far. Scratching the box. Here we are. Shrink wrap is off. Oh, look, it's it won the Deutscher Spiel Spielpreisen Dagen of 2015 from Platts. And as you know, ah, right. Mm. Minimal box burp. If you're really in it for the box burp, you could do better. Right off the top, I see a very beautiful looking board. You know, this game, I didn't even read the back of the box. I've just taken it on people's recommendations. Let's unfold this board and see what it looks like. Oh, very nice, very lovely. Color. The back of the board looks like a nice faux wood grain. A little dark. Might not go with your honey colored wood. You know, if you have a table like mine, it's a little bit blonde, it might not fit. Otherwise, pretty. Oh, look. It has little keys and legends down here describing tokens. I think we're going to get some wood tokens in the box. Uh, and then something about what dice do. You know, I'd have to read the instruction booklet, so let's actually get onto that. Here it is. Oh, you know. I was going to say it's surprisingly thin. It is not surprisingly thin. It's exactly as thick as I thought it would be. But like it when they do this, where they have the board set out and they have little call-outs all around the board and they're pointing to the different areas of the board and they say, you know, put this token here, put that token here. Approved. What is this? Marco Polo, oh, supplement. I wonder if this is like a second printing thing where it's like, you know, they, they messed up in the original rule book and now they've got four more pages of, oh, by the way, or maybe that was in the first printing, I have no idea, but uh, it's just an additional four pages of stuff to know. What else? Oh, good. <laughs> things to punch. Oh, like I say, I could just punch things all day long. I don't know, is that a job? Is it a, is it a puncher? Is that like, not boxer, but like punch, somebody who just punches stuff out of die cut cardboard, because I could do that job. Three sheets to punch and, but wait, there's more. This looks like some kind of, uh, I don't even want to crack that crease, but I'm pretty sure you fold that in half and it's a standee for something. Oh my gosh, egads. So about three more, three more sheets of tokens and goodies to punch on these cards. And the main events, wood. This, oh, I see, okay, great. Okay, cool, this is really cool. Now I know what this does. This thing that you fold in half is like a box insert. So you fold in a half like that. It's a little, maybe it's a little flimsy and that's why they don't ship it like that. There's these little slotty grooves here. You know, it splits up your box into four quadrants and the different quadrants have different pieces of artwork in them. I'm gonna turn it so that it's right way up. I don't know what goes in there because I don't really know the components yet, but let's get to know them a little bit better. Here is a small deck of cards. If I were to estimate how many cards were in there, it'd probably be, I would say like uh, 15,000, I don't know, off the top of my head. And then a big bag of dice in different colors. I assume different color for each player. Let's see if they roll properly. I didn't get a six, so that one's broken. Let's see this one. Six, perfect. The yellow one works. So just so you know, you get your copy. The yellow die works. 
And then this is the bag of other stuff. You know what, I'm finding more and more that when games ship, they have like a special bag for their wood and it's got like a little hole in it so that the pieces can breathe. I don't even know what's going on. This one doesn't have that. So I don't know if these poor wood tokens have been suffocating the entire time in the box that I've waited to do this unboxing and, and poor things. I think this is supposed to be, it's either a, a camel or a Cheeto. But either way, it looks like it was very uncomfortable in that bag. I'm happy to have liberated it. We've got little, little Marco, Marco Polos that have, as you know, Marco Polo was French and he wore a beret or a Chef Boyardee hat. I'm not even, I have no idea. This is a uh, very sad, very sad story. This is like a meeple, um, who is on long-term disability for obesity. Um, as you notice, the uh, sort of the separation between where the legs go isn't there anymore. It's just all kind of globbed together. It's, it's a tragic state of affairs. We have uh, purple bow ties. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like luckily a leprechaun. Purple bow ties, obese meeples, ha, ah, rainbow. These ones are gold ingots. Camels and ingots and chef boyardees and little little fat munchkins. Oh my! Uh, great. Oh wait, there's one more. There's there's big brown busts of people, I guess. Maybe or maybe those are like stamps or uh, woo or you know when you make wax seal. And there's there's little tiny ones that are in the same shape. Look at the big the big guys and the little the little tiny guys and sometimes they hold hands and they go together to the zoo which is very very nice so you like a game where your wood tokens can go to the zoo together that's all i got i mean okay wait one more thing one more thing i know this has been <laughs> elucidating and edifying for all of you and i'm glad you've watched till this point because i've said entirely nothing this is oh yeah yeah okay so these are just uh, player guides. Every player can have one. They go around the table. They are double-sided and text-heavy. As text-heavy as they are, I don't think it's a knock against the game. I like games with lots of rules. And uh, if this is just uh, dice rolling and work replacement, I doubt it'll be that hairy. I am excited to play this game. I'm excited to unwrap these little baggies and put all the adorable little uh, uh, tokens that I've never seen in any other game before into these bags. And then once I do that, I'm going to play the game. I'm going to learn the game. I'll do a how to play on it. And I uh, hope you'll catch me for that too. Uh, that's it. An unboxing of the Voyage of Marco. The Voyages. You get more than one voyage in this box of Marco Polo. Thanks for watching. I kind of like Tinkerbell. If you stop paying attention to me, I die. Click the coat of arms to subscribe. Turn on notifications to know when I've got something new.